So today I'm applying the first coat of paint on our Wayne's coating, beadboard Wayne's coating and chair rail here. And you know, there's many options to apply it, you know, from typically all trim, we would be spraying all trim for this project. It's just a really small project, the amount of masking, cleaning up of a sprayer, the dust that the sprayer is gonna create, you know, it'll take just more work versus just brushing and rolling it. Now, if you get a good quality paint, you know, you could get, um, have really good roll results, you know, brushing and rolling it and using a good quality paint and using a high quality uh, paint brush and roller. So I'm just today just applying it, you know, with a brush and roller, just gonna be a lot faster, uh, more efficient. I'm taking, applying it with a microfiber roller to get it on faster. And then I'm laying it out with a Premier Hampton. It's a all DuPont nylon filament brush. So it's lays out the paint really nice, uh, less likely to leave roping. So um, it's DuPont's version of nylon they came up with is Timex. So anytime I'm painting trim, I use Premier's Hampton. So it lays it out, super nice. The paint we're using today is uh, Bear Dynasty and brushes really well, uh, dries pretty fast. So definitely gotta, you don't wanna work, you know, overwork it, apply it on, get it on quickly, brush laid out, move on. If you have any, any runs or anything, you can come back and sand them. Don't try to brush them out if, it's, if it um, already is, is starting to dry. Once it starts to dry and coagulate, you'll really rope it really bad. So just get it on, move quickly. That's why I like to get it on. If you get it on with a roller first, um, it gets it on faster, then you can lay it out with your brush. The tools, tools you're using is what's gonna really help you have success. So I'm, and I'm getting it up here underneath, brushing it. If you're using a product that has a tendency to run, if all your layout is in an upward motion, it's less likely to run. Because you're pulling the paint up instead of pushing it down right here where you've got to push it down to get underneath there that's where you're more than likely to have run so you want to check that you'll come back before it starts to dry if you start to have a run you know brush it out they start to dry there so one of the secrets to getting rid of runs without 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 sand in it is just use denatured alcohol so once this first coat dries if i have any runs anywhere you can just rub it out with denatured alcohol without sanding it and then repaint right over it. This is a um, vinyl beadboard, so it's a paintable vinyl, really smooth. So it's not gonna absorb paint, so um, it's more likely to run than a primed wood, which would actually absorb the paint itself. On the baseboard, I'm gonna be going baseboard trailing, chair railing, I'm gonna be going, you know, with the grain of the wood on the B board, it's up and down. I don't wanna brush it crossways anywhere. It's all up and down. If you get anything in the paint, you wanna get it out. Look, just graze a little hair. But what I see, you know, most frustration especially with do-it-yourselfers that don't have a lot of experience brushing and rolling trim, is they'll continue to work it. I got it on, laid it out, move off, move on. So if you try to go back, if I see something over here I miss, or I see a run, you know, even like right down here, it's already starting to dry and skim over on the top. And what I call starting to coagulate, it's really gonna, what we call rope it. And I, when I say roping, it's really gonna leave brush strokes really bad. And the roping kind of refers to the ups and downs, just looks like ropes all over your trim or whatever you're um, painting. And this being a smooth and not a textured surface, you know, roping would show up, you know, really bad. So one of the reasons why you should wanna strain your paint, just like that, getting debris in the paint. 
um, I didn't strain my paints and um, I didn't strain my paint this time, uh, but the bucket has a lot of loose debris in it that's getting mixed in the paint. So if you're doing something, you know, really critical, you know, you don't want to have to sand anything out. You know, use a good, a new bucket. Down here I masked, you know, with frog tape, tucked my frog tape underneath the trim. So when I pull, when I pull the tape up, the carpet's going to lift up and cover the bottom lip of the trim there. When I'm laying, putting my paint on with my roller, I don't want to go too far, you know, ahead. I'm only doing, you know, a couple, um, you know, four inch beads at a time. For a pure white, it's covering incredi incredibly well. Usually whites without tint in them don't cover well at all. Definitely gonna be two coats. Once I get the first coat on, there's some things. I've got a Bondo, a seam Bondo. Um, some things I've seen here, and then we'll sand that and do our next coat.